All right. Hello, everyone, and welcome to Rocket League ECAC Week 5 matchup. We've got your post-university Eagles tonight taking on Husson University. And with me tonight again is Cheeksa. Cheeksa, how is it going? You know, it's going pretty good. I'm happy to be watching Orange today. They've just been dominating the ECAC scene. So I'm excited to see what they're going to do in the field, how they're going to play, and if they're really going to continue to dominate and stay undefeated. Yeah, Eagles coming into this one at 4-0 and on the season. Already have secured that playoff spot, and Husson will be looking to get their first win of the season, 0-4 so far in the ECAC A division. Eagles already putting on a lot of pressure at the start here, but Logan with a good clear. Naz gonna send it right back. Top left, I'm Cam, can't get the clear. Karamik trying to slow it down. Non just gonna send it over to the side. Good decision. Pops it off the ceiling, can't find another touch. Now Karamik in the corner with Camboy. Good read off the ceiling, but Naz is there to intercept. Reading the defense once again. Watch Naz come in here through the air. Camboy, he knows he's too far away to get another touch. He just sneaks it right under him, and the Eagles off to a hot start. Post as well. Orange always doing such a good job offensively upfield. They just attack and attack and attack. And you pick any one of the three, and they all know how to make such offensive plays upfield. I mean, we talk about this team already making playoffs, already being undefeated. Not to mention they've only dropped a single game. Keep in mind, this team have swept three of the four series that they have played. They've just unstoppable. And here, starting it off with that goal, with that lead, shows that momentum, shows they're on today. These boys, they're just so freaking good. One more pass out mid by Karamik. Almost finds a shot from Anon. And now could potentially be a chance for a counterattack from Husson. But Naz reads that infield pass beautifully. And Alec has been working on that in practice with the team. Recognizing that infield pass threat and intercepting. And Naz doing a good job of it right there. Naz in the <laughs> corner. Deflection. Yep, gets a double tap <laughs> over to Anon, who sends it out mid. Cam going to catch this one, try to slow it down, go for the air dribble. Karamik cuts that off. Zaylin sending it right back downfield. Ooh, a bit of an awkward touch from Naz. This is an open hole for Logan Hub, and he puts it in. Husson on the board, tying us up at one. Unfortunate. Anonymous, you see, just reaching and not being able to have the boost, have the speed to block that ball off. Really good job for Husson to take advantage, find a way to just outbeat that last defender who wasn't exactly prepared on the goal line and get the goal, get the tying one and really show it to Post right now. Of course, we want Post to keep dominating, but it's nice to see. I mean, if I were an 0-4 team against a 4-0, I'd be a little nervous. So the fact mm -hmm. that they're already coming out strong with their offense themselves, tying this game up, kind of getting their mental back in check shows this 4-0 team and this 0-4 team may not be all that it seems, might not be as easy as it may seem. Good shot from Naz, but it's not quite strong enough to find the back of the net. And a good save once again by Husson as they're uh, holding strong on the defensive end. Great shot from Naz, top right. It's a little bit off, but Karamik going to come collect the rebound as it forces the double commit there from Husson as this shot top right here made them very nervous. Cam and Logan both going up for that one, and then Karamik collecting the rebound and putting it bottom left. Yeah, double commit there. Not what you want to do on the backboard, especially on the defensive side of the field. Sometimes offensive double commits, eh, you could brush it off, whatever. But when nobody back in net mm -hmm. leaves it completely open and post taking advantage of that open net, great slot in, way to make the move, get that lead again, and hopefully get their mental back in check because little mm. mistakes it seems like Hassan can take advantage of. And that's why it's so important to get power on your shots, right? Their shot was so strong that their Hassan probably did not have time to react just like we see again. Naz and Karamik putting on so much pressure. Naz up to Karamik. Karamik off the backboard, right back down to Naz, who did a good job of staying in the box, staying in that play, not rotating out too early and continuing to apply that pressure. Eagles now up to. Really bang, bang play two in a row goals. 
I'm sure Eagles will oh, make upset it three. That they let that, <laughs> that goal in earlier, and now all of a sudden they're just on a roll. Naz could not place that any better mm. on the front of the car, Karamik. You, it's, it's perfection. It's passing perfection for Post. And now you're right. Three goal lead. I said two. It's three. <laughs> they're feeling good. Yeah, definitely have hit their stride uh, in these last couple minutes as Anon almost finding another one there off of that 50. And Karamek now going to slow the play down. Another thing that Atticat has been working with the team on in practice is slowing these plays down when needed um, and not just giving away possession of the ball. And uh, good job by the Eagles there doing that. Uh, but Anon in a 1v3 right now does manage to get his car on the ball and put it in the corner. And Naz now going to slow this play down once again. Naz going to bring it over. Can't quite find the flick over Zaylin, but the ball is still hovering around midfield as Zaylin finds that demo on Karmic 2v3 for a second. But Anon just going to stall for time with the ball in midfield as Naz with a great center, but no one from the Eagles available to take a shot. Karmic with another pass. And to Naz, he can't find the net. Now to Anon. Now back to Karamik. He's out of boost. Barely gets his car on the ball. As Anon now continuing to apply pressure. And uh, I think we can start, start talking now with a uh, three-goal lead and 30 seconds to go. This is looking like Post is going to take care of business here against Hudson in game one. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised if they might add one more to that tally. But they played the possession game at the remaining minute and a half. They stayed up field, posted. They continue to put on shots, put on pressure, and get the ball. You said it. Everyone had a little bit of piece of ball at that time as they slowly passed it around the net. Maybe got a chip shot or two, but that didn't matter. They didn't need the goal. All they needed was this time to run out, and that's what we see it do now. 4-1, game number one in this best of seven. Really a great job by Post. When we thought that Huston started creating some momentum for themselves, they got back in it. Three unanswered goals to end that game. Yeah, and uh, just really solid play all around from the Eagles. Uh, Nazi MVP, 528 points, two goals and two assists off of six shots. But we see it right there in the shot total. really kind of says it all. Ten shots on net for post and only three for Husson. So Husson definitely needs to try to bounce back here um, in game two, try to get some more offense going, um, control that ball a little bit more. I think they're kind of just banging the ball downfield to try to buy themselves time on the defensive half because post is playing this kind of swarming, very fast-paced offensive attack and it's not giving them a lot of time to kind of regroup and reset and get an actual offensive attack going, and they just kind of panic and boom the ball downfield, which can happen pretty regularly um, when you are facing a team like Post. Um, but we're going to get right into uh, game two here as uh, Eagles up 1-0 in the series. Oop, I forgot to update the match score. One second. <laughs> All good. All good. There I think we Hassan go. really needs to up their defense. We noted the 10 to 3 on that shot differential. Mm -hmm. And the fact was only two of those were saved. That's mm. not really good odds with all those shots mm -hmm. coming through. They have to find ways to challenge post early or else you see it. Post is going to have another man on the ball. They're going to get another shot through and they're going to hold on that possession. Hence, continuing their offensive efforts again and mm. again on the field. Karavik mm. here finds one to himself, mm. and that offense keeps on going. For yes, post. sir. Love the way that Karavik decided to shoot this ball. Getting his car in between him, uh, the ball and the defender after that touch, not allowing for Husson's defender to clear that ball out, and the Eagles picking up right where they left off, right back in the lead. We'll see if they can continue to hold that lead. I have faith in them. But granted, Hudson Ooh. looking to try to get some sort of backboard pass does not go through. And Naz will look upfield with the rest of the team Whoa. to continue their <laughs> offensive efforts. Gets a little spinny there. Anonymous <laughs> off the corner. Karamek with the shot just off the post. And outpost almost 
getting another one there. Maybe the name speaking a little bit for itself, but <laughs> all good. It'll be okay because I'm sure there's plenty more shots where that came from. Yeah. Sometimes it is our greatest friend and sometimes it is our worst enemy. Um, top posts and side posts on the net. <laughs> but uh, Naz with a little weak shot coming in, but doesn't quite find the net. And the Eagles, once again, keeping the ball in Husson's half for uh, the majority of game one, and they haven't really slowed down here in game two. Kamrick, once again on the attack, going for a ground pinch is not going to find it. Now Anon in the corner. That's going to be straight down for Naz, and he slots it down. Double commit is not enough for Husson, and the Eagles up two goals now off of a good 50 from Anon, and then Naz just putting the ball where it needed to go. Yeah, Zaylin off that backboard doesn't read that correctly. Logan's back, backwards. I'm Camboy, probably out of boost in that mm. situation by the end of it. All three uh -oh. of those things combining into something that Ooh. isn't very good, but a beat out in midfield, mm -hmm. an open net left for post. And again, Hassan takes advantage of just something that we do wrong, a misrotation, misspeed, a little bit of a mismatch mm -hmm. on that play. Yep, good good job by Logan there taking advantage of uh, the post player who was supposed to be rotating back there, not quite in position yet, and uh, gets that shot off just barely before being demoed. Um, and you love to see that ball, you know, careening into your opponent's net when you're in the death screen there. Uh, Kermick with a little air dribble is going to be off the post. Cam, nice read. Going to clear that one out off of that awkward bounce from the post. And Kermick now with a little fake. Logan not going to fall for that one. Anon, tough read. Grenaz, great doink there. Clears the ball out off the top of his car. And Kermick now up off the ceiling. Anon with one more touch. Crossbar down, but it doesn't find the net. And Husson survives. Yeah, again, Kermick booming it downfield. As we approach halftime, your Eagles holding on to a slim one-goal lead. No, I think I cast her post-cursed us. Um... <laughs> You know, we're not going to talk post. about it. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, you're not going to be mad at me. Um, I, I promise it wasn't my fault. That's unfortunate. <laughs> a couple of our shots have gone by the wayside, and we just haven't been able to find it. Zaylin, this time off the backboard, of managing to find the save for Hassan. Only a one goal difference remaining. Naz Ooh. midfield. Karavik almost could have had it with that miss, but loses the opportunity. And maybe that one goal difference, but we know that shot count much more than one this game. Post hopefully can manage to find one more. We like that safety goal. Anonimo yep. will find it on the shot. All three mm. in net, not ready for it with Hassan. Looks like out of boost, just out of position and all front post instead of back. A uh, valiant effort by Zaylin there, trying to get that ball above the net, but just a little bit too slow after that offensive push from the Eagles. And it's 3-1 post now with a little under two minutes to go here in game two. Chance for Hassan, but Anon is there to clear it out of the box. Get it out of that danger zone. Naz going to send it way downfield. Only has 18 boosts left, but a nice clear by the Hustle defender. I believe that was Logan coming in. Uh, Kermick with another center. Zaylin, a very uh, ballsy clear there, sending it right on top of his own backboard. Uh, Questionable. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, when you, well, when you have uh, confidence in your ability to put the ball where you want to, um, that becomes less and less questionable. And uh, he did a good job there, I think, of you know putting the ball where it needed to go. Karamek now in the box, 50 right in front. And Zaylin is there. I think if we watch, if we look at the heat map from this game afterwards, I think it's going <laughs> to be all on Husson's half. Like their one goal was from midfield. They didn't even bring it into the post, into the box. And now Karamek coming into collecting the rebound. And once again, it's four to one. Really great start by Nas to just drop this, mm -hmm. drop it right in the middle of the net for the follow-up. Mm -hmm. Anonymous finds it first off the backboard. Finish by Carabin. Really great team job. All three players touch that ball within a couple of seconds, maybe five or so, mm -hmm. to make that 
goal possible. And now we're in our same situation. We're up 4-1. There's only about 30 seconds left. All they need to do is buy some time and Post will get game number two again. I have no doubts in them. They played a really good game. And even after all those shots hitting the post, they still mm -hmm. managed to stay on their toes, still wanted to win it, and didn't let that mental get to them. I mean... I just mm -hmm. saw Karamek has nine shots this game. Oh, wow. Looking at it. Well, oh, we're going to wow. add another one here for Anonymous, but there's a lot of shots this game. Yeah, and that is another thing that we've been working on in practice, too, is finding your teammates on the field and getting the ball to them specifically and not simply, you know, hitting the ball with no real uh, direction or goal in Perfect. mind, just kind of hitting the ball to hit the ball instead of actually looking for your teammate, finding them on the pitch, and getting the ball specifically to them. Um, and so I think we're doing a really good job of that this series specifically. And if we look at the score now, uh, five goals and of the five, four were assisted. So I think that says the whole story right there, Chiksa. Yeah, I absolutely agree with you. It's really great teamwork, and that's why I think this team is as successful as they are. We say they're undefeated. They've only dropped a single game. It's for those reasons that they're only mm -hmm. doing that. And they continue to get better and better at the time. Imagine if those 17 shots were just maybe a little bit more mm. on target. Make that wow. 18 by the end of this game. <laughs> 18 shots, mm. a little bit more on target. Then tell me how many more goals will we have from all that teamwork? A lot mm -hmm. more. They can certainly make it possible. And I mean, Hassan still with eight saves, but what can you do when the other team is putting that much pressure on you? Now, Hassan, your only chance get your offense going yourself with two shots they were never upfield you're right that heat map is going to be all on that orange half of the field you know if you can't defend may as well just attack fight fire with fire see mm. how it goes what do you have to lose at this point in the series too well right now with post yeah and i think one thing that hassan even though they lost 5-1 they you know their save percentage was actually i think much better uh this game than it was in game one um, as far as the percentage of shots from post that they actually saved um, versus shots that mm -hmm. just went in. So um, they ha were actually a little bit more consistent um, on the defensive end despite the uh, score being pretty much the same. So we'll see if we can uh, see if post can continue their dominance here in this series. Remember, this is a best of seven, so it's the first to four. Uh, post up 2-0 in the series as we head into game three. No substitutions, so we're going to be getting right back into it. Anon and Camboy on the kickoff. Logan with an extra touch. Uh, coming off with that ceiling shot. Nice job from him. Karamik just kind of trying to slow things down. Beautiful! That has become Karamik's signature shot. He lulls you to sleep and then just bangs it home. I love this little dink and then the one-two. Throws that knuckleball, <laughs> that knuckleball right into the back of the net, and the Eagles once again out front within the first minute. I'd be curious to know Karamik's ones rank, since I can see he must play a little bit of ones. If he doesn't, then he should, because I think it would be fantastic practice for him to mm. continue those one-on-one -on -one beats. Working as a team, yes, very essential, but also individually being able to win those one-on-one -on -one opportunity propels your team to the next mm -hmm. level. If everyone can manage to make those opportunities, then they're going to continue to even create more goals than they already keep doing. So wonderful lead for post early on. Certainly, I don't see this team's mental. I don't see this team's momentum or anything going south. They're just going to continue to play their game because they are controlling this series. Yeah, and um, I don't know if he plays ones, but I do know that he actually plays golf for the post-university uh, athletics team. So I think that might have been a little bit of his... Uh, his golf sense coming out there with that shot, just kind of a, <laughs> you know, a little chip shot with a with a good old sand wedge or something. Camboy though, now with a chance for Hassan, but good clear by Naz as Anon pinches it off the side, and now going for this one is out of boost though, and Naz coming in for the follow up. Now Karamik another fifty, going to be off the corner once again. Anon and Karamik a double commit, but nothing doing for either team now. 
Naz shot. Great save by Zaylin coming in from the left side and keeping this a one goal affair. Now Anon coming in though. Good shot trying to get it behind the defense, but Zaylin once again on the defensive end. Keeping this game winnable for Hassan. I really think Hassan has figured out how to save a majority of the post shots. They can read the passes coming through. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's a little bit predictable, but sometimes it's so hard to really figure out where that shot is going to be placed. So great job on them for adjusting to the shots that we're bringing, the aggressiveness that we're bringing, but they still haven't brought any shots of their own, any aggressiveness. They're barely able to get through that half field mark we keep mentioning. And without that, I don't see them having any Ooh. success because they need to score. That's literally mm -hmm. the entire goal of Rocket League to get goals. And if Hassan can't do that pretty soon against this very aggressive post team, they're going to have troubles as they continue through this series. A chance here, though, as Cam coming up for this one above the box, but Naz once again turning that away. And uh, I think the heat map looking a little bit more even this game as Hassan now applying a lot of pressure to the Eagles defense. Eagles trying to get this ball back into the their opponent's half. They finally do after a great booming clear. That could no. be on target. It is from downtown. Naz with the 50 from his own corner. And uh, not much you can really do about that as Hussein. You just kind of have to chuck some of those up to, uh, to bad luck. And I think, you know, there should be uh, somebody back at all times. But I think when the ball's in your opponent's corner, you don't necessarily think you need to be that far back. But apparently you do with... Uh, Naz's pinch power for the Eagles. <laughs> I was going to say, I really can't break down that play too much. That's yeah. <laughs> just kind of how Rocket League sometimes rolls. Those things happen. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I don't know. Physics. It's something. Some, something. Something yeah, physics. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you just need to let it go and move mm -hmm. on forward. But for Hassan, the problem is they're already behind. And getting behind even further isn't a help at this point at all. They need to figure out what to do up field those saves though have gotten so much better but still mm -hmm. we're attacking we have so much boost on the field and we uh -oh. just have i think mm. yeah we have the rotations so we're chilling yeah <laughs> big chilling as naz once again with a save straight down in front of the box for karmic can't find the net now a non's turn but he's out of boost and zaylin gonna clear that one out off the backboard under a minute to go now. Still winnable for Hussin if they're able to score here. And then one more to bring it to over. I'm a fake from Karamik. Can I get two? Oh. Almost had a highlight play there. <laughs> that ones, I'm telling you. He gets himself in ones, figures out how to beat players at a time. He'll be, he'll be killing it. Mm. Star yeah. in Karamik's future for sure. This is a beautiful pass. Mm. Karamik with yep. a great finish i expected him to get the shot through and he rotates that car beautifully to shoot that one down with power mm -hmm. against that last defender yep excellent job and uh that is probably going to be the dagger for hassan here in game three and put them in a reverse sweep situation um naz off the side can't get the double but now here's a non trying to put one more on the scoreboard for the Eagles. Great bump by Anon coming off that rotation. Cam with a doink over to Logan. Going to be in the Eagles corner now. Anon missing that boost. Somehow gets two touches with zero boost off of that. Anon just kind of a wizard at making things happen despite having no resources and no momentum. And you saw it again right there. Um, but the Eagles will take game three. They did a really good job of working with what they were given with. Sometimes mm -hmm. it meant getting a one-on-one -on -one play upfield. That's how Karen Mick started off. Then it was passes to one another on the side. And then, you know, Naz just got that lucky pinch. That's just mm -hmm. kind of how this game rolled. They yeah. were able to take it easy. Again, fall into what they're comfortable with, what they know as a team, and they just overall dominate. And I mean, again, nine to three in that shot count. Six of those saved by mm -hmm. Hudson. So again, really great job. But post had. All right. We are uh, back, hopefully, everyone. Sorry about that. <laughs> um, the, uh, the stream crashed. 
But we're back now. Luckily, it was a temporary crash. And it looks like the Eagles up uh, one to zero here in game four, looking to complete the sweep. Good redirect from Naz. As we're approaching halftime now, just a one goal lead now for post. Nice bump from Karamik. And Logan gonna try to slow this down, but gets demoed. Now Karamik gonna take control. Tries to flick it over Zaylin, but he's not having it. Touched by uh, Naz down to Anon. Oh no, Karamik with a whiff. It's wide open. Naz almost gets there in time, but Zaylin puts it in. Yeah, hello. Welcome back, everyone. Sorry about that. The stream crashed. We're back. We're all tied up at one here in game four. We only missed a couple minutes, luckily. Um, I wish we had missed that whiff. I'll be honest. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Not the best play to come back to, but it yeah. just shows that, again, everyone has the potential to fail to mess up, and it looks mm -hmm. like, for some reason, Hassan, all out of nothing, is getting a lot of offense going. Mm. They've managed a couple of back-to-back -back shots here, again, looking for another one, and Post is required to save these on the goal line. Very last-second saves, and I think it's kind of thrown us for a loop this yeah. game. You could tell we're struggling in a sense that we <laughs> just can't seem to read the ball, but... Backfield oh, demo. But open a nine, net. Yep. A nod will able to go end to end and just a little mm -hmm. trickery by Naz is all that they need to get the lead again. Yeah, opened up by that demo and the Eagles gonna take the lead right back. A minute and a half to go. Now Husson really feeling the pressure. Need to tie this game up at least to give them a give them a chance in overtime to extend this series. Because right now, uh, Eagles are looking so hot. And boy, and the rest of Hussin. Oh, a miss by Logan, but no one Ooh. there to take a shot. The ball just bouncing tantalizingly in front of the net there. And now Anon going to send it right back. 65 seconds to go. Can Hussin tie this up and send us to overtime, or will the Eagles put in another dagger? Karamik's shot is wide to the left. Logan now going to try to slow things down, but Anon turns it away. Going for the bump. Forces the early jump, and Karamik takes advantage. Sometimes you don't even need to demo or even bump to make an impact. Watch Anon here. Camboy forced to jump early to dodge that incoming demo, and then Karamik just puts it right underneath. Camboy as well off that backboard. Instead follows his teammate, who's already there and in prime position to gather that ball. He loses his back post rotation, loses all of his boost, and that's why he can't save that shot. Mm -hmm. He very much well could have if he had done the right steps in the rotation, trusted his teammate, and really not used up that little bit of boost that he had. But instead, that goal goes on through. Post gets another, and now Hassan again it needs to look upfield. They have to bring some more offense since with 20 seconds left, that's the last opportunity they have to even manage to tie up this game to extend the series. Oh, back back pass goes a little bit awry there from Hassan, <laughs> but uh, 10 seconds to go. Now Eagles are going to try to put one more on the board. Kermit can't quite get the angle. Fighting a non for this boost. <laughs> Camboy not there in time, and uh, that is going to do it. Eagles will complete the sweep. Only question of what's the final score line going to be. But uh, Hassan well fought, honestly. A uh, good series from them, but the Eagles just too fast and just that swarming offense. Um, and, uh, yeah, there's, I mean, not much else to say there. Cheeks, uh, Eagles take it in for... Yeah. Uh, and on they the MVP it. that time. Yeah. Right. They really played a great game all around. I mean, that came only three shots, and they still managed to win. A little quieter, but they managed the offense that Hassan was able to bring. Post can do it all. They can... Post Orange can do it all. Let me reiterate that. <laughs> they, they can manage upfield presence, offensive presence, mm -hmm. pushing the attack, one-on-one -on -one plays, team plays, they really kind of found their stride as a team and figured out what is successful for them. But on the backside as well, when faced 
on the defensive half, will they make the occasional mistake? Of course, that'll happen Mm -hmm. every once in a while. It'll always happen because they're forced into those uncomfortable situations that the other team outplays. But they did manage to hold on, make those saves, and still look upfield in transitions. We got a really beautiful transition goal from a demo because we held on that back line. So a lot of promise, again, from this post-Orange team. They played together as a team. I can't name an MVP. Keramik had some really good shots, but I think that, again, was because of his teammates. So I can't say it was all Keramik, just because he was the one, I think, shooting the most. Overall, everyone played really well. And again, 5-0 this team goes. They've lost a single game, one game, Mm -hmm. and otherwise have won the rest. Yeah, I mean, the only thing I'm worried about at this point for Orange heading into the playoffs is uh, getting a little bit overconfident. But I think, you know, we're playing actually in the CCA Opens on the weekend and, you know, getting our teeth kicked in there. So that's a nice little humble humbleness there uh, to try to, you know, keep them humble and, rec- you know, realize that, you know, there are really, really good teams in this division that they just happen to not be matched up against. Um, but we will definitely see them in playoffs. So playoffs is certainly going to be a much different story um, heading into that in in the next couple weeks. But we still have three more um, regular season matches for this team. Um, And we still have more matches for you tonight as well. So um, 